what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile ladies and gentlemen it's adenian tower time you know adenian tower time and i have a build for this tower already it's a build i've already discussed in a previous episode and I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to stick by my, I'm going to stick by my instincts here. I think things may be different for the fatal tower. I may need to switch things up and have a fatal team and a normal team, but let's see how things go. Let's see. Let's, let's just see how things go. I brainstormed this build before the tower even came back before they even announced the Adenian tower was coming back. I brainstormed this build and I've already discussed what my thought process was. So. I'm going to stick to it. We're going to see how things go. And if things don't go well, we'll switch things up for Fatal. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're rocking with a classic team, as I've stated multiple times, okay? Classic Rain, Classic Smoke, and Classic Raiden. I really wish I had a diamond because I really want the ceremonial pipe on somebody just because of that maxed out Argus Cloak giving that invulnerability shield. That five seconds can feel like forever in a boss fight when you really can't do anything and they get it multiple times. You lose a lot of time to stuff like that. So I would like to have the ceremonial pipe on somebody, but I'm going to go without it today. I'm going to stick with my core build. So this is what we're doing. Hey, listen. Classic Rain is going to get tower gear plus the Divine Argus Cloak. I'm not going to give him brutality gear because his combo ender wastes way too many time. I don't want him having that special combo ender. Classic Smoke's gonna get, uh, um, he's gonna get support equipment. So he's gonna get extra debuff resistance, uh, team debuff resistance with the Shintai of Malice, and he's gonna give the team a little bit of unblockable. Classic Raiden, who we haven't used in a boss fight, uh, you know, they nerfed him for bosses, so he doesn't get his tag in, and uh, he also gives them power with his special two. So I kind of steer away from him, but we're going to give him a shot. I feel like I haven't used him in a boss fight in a long time. And I want to, you know, use some more characters that I haven't really gotten a chance to play. We got a brand new, a brand spanking new Fusion X60 Classic Rain. But we kind of want him to be the star of the show. But Raiden's going to do his thing and help him out. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get things started. It is Labor Day weekend, and I'm hoping to have a good weekend, so let's start things off right. At least I remember to take myself out of auto. He's the only one with the maxed out Divine Argus Cloak, so let's soak him. There goes the stinking invulnerability shield. Of course he waited for me to unblock, right? Of course! Of course! I'll be getting those reflections, though. We're getting those reflections, though. Can we get this uh, team soaked right here? Nope. And we got another invulnerability shield. Yep, guys. Just like I said. Team soak. Boom. All right, guys. He's team soaked. So watch this now. Oh, come on. I, are they still team soaked? I don't see them taking any damage. I feel like I don't see them taking damage. I want to get one more in. All right, you're dead. We're going to go for it right off the bat. Let's see what he does here. I love the Widowmaker so much, man. I'm telling you. Ah! Let's see when you dummy. Go away. I'm going for it. Beautiful. Yo, no dodges from Assassin Jade? We'll take that. Baby girl, your turn. Um, Can we get a soak on you? Why would I use a special one? Yo, we ain't getting no dodges, fam. Oh, that, that's it. That's it. It's game over for you. It is game over for you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the build worked out fine. Rain did get a bunch of invulnerability shields, and I definitely do think the ceremonial pipe would help against that um, for future battle 200s, but we still one shot. 
And I think that's what matters. So we'll definitely keep this team going for normal. We may switch it up and add some other things. But I still wanted to use my brand spanking new. Fresh out the plastic Fusion X60 Classic Rain. I had to show the man some love and make sure he was, you know, the star of the next boss fight. So we did go ahead and do that. We did do that, ladies and gentlemen. Random diamond time. Y'all know what to do, man. Cross your fingers for your boy. Joker, let's go, baby. Let's go. We take those. We love that. We love to see that. We love to see that. I got to work on his special ones and twos. So the higher we get him up is the more viable he will be. So I'm feeling pretty good about getting Joker. Feeling really good about that. Uh, we started things off on a good foot for normal. Ain't mad about that. How has everybody's epic drops been? Let me know. So far, I've gotten two epic drops and I've gotten two rare drops. But the two rare drops I got were the two maxed out was the maxed out piece I have, which is the, the divine tornadic pauldron. Very good piece, guys. If you guys don't use that piece, that is actually one of my go to rares when I'm trying to add uh, power to um teams especially in newer towers when i don't have tower gear yet that's one of my go-to pieces so um if you guys don't use that piece keep that piece in mind uh strengthen can uh stack three different times and um it can definitely increase your damage when you don't have tower gear in a brand new tower you haven't you know bought or earned uh tower gear just yet so you guys have seen me use that piece a lot in the past it's letting you know it's a really strong piece so if you get the divine tornadic pauldron to off fusion x Keep that in your uh, keep that in your mind when you're building out teams for uh, boss fights and even in faction wars and all that good stuff. How's the trip? The the uh, crypt. I said the trip. How is the crypt cheating everybody? The crypt is amazing. It's still boring. Still takes too long. Still has too many animations and wastes a lot of time. But the results are amazing. We're getting things that we need. We know how much time we need to put into it to get exactly what we need and what more can you ask for you know what i'm saying like what more can you ask for really hoping the devs take my idea of introducing that philosophy and transferring it over to the faction war store and also to the character store so that people have more variety to play and they can play different modes for different things i think that would really increase the amount of time people spend playing this game but more importantly the amount of time people have fun while they're playing this game so Lots of good things there, guys. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm just here chilling, trying to have a good weekend. It is the beginning of a long weekend. I had today off, uh, so uh, one of my only days off for the rest of the year, and uh, I'll have a nice, solid four-day weekend. Don't have any plans. I wanted to go away this weekend, you know, but you know, I couldn't line up the time with any of my friends, with, you know, my friends. Uh, some of my friends went, went to the Dominican Republic, and I really wanted to. But the timing's not right with me having to move it kind of uh i had to prioritize and uh, you know as much as a vacation sounds nice and sounds glorious and i would love to be in dr absolutely love to be in dr i i can't even think about that right now right now i gotta think about finding a place and finding a new roof over my head so i have somewhere to go um i'm gonna try to find a two bedroom as well so that i can put my streaming equipment and all all kinds of other things into the second bedroom versus my main bedroom you know I, I was saying it to my mom my mom knows i've been doing a show she's never watched it thank god but she knows i've had a show for uh you know well over you know seven years now and um you know even though we've switched gears from twitch to now focusing solely on youtube um you know i've been doing content creation for a while now and i to be truthful you know with you guys i haven't had a bedroom for a long time now you know my bedroom is really my creative space and it has been for since I've been making content. Uh, you know, as much as my content has evolved and my equipment has evolved, uh, the one constant is that, you know, I am forced to, you know, keep all my equipment and all that stuff in my room. So my room doesn't really feel like a room because I don't really have space in my room. I, you know, my room doesn't have um, a lot of space for me to really have a setup in a specific space where I can like, you know, still do what I got to do and play games on my TV, etc. You know, I have to have a mobile station. I got to set it up for every single stream. And I don't really have a bedroom that feels like a bedroom. 
my bedroom is kind of like an office, you know, it's a creative office versus a bedroom. And I, I, I want to have a bedroom again. You know, I want a, a room I can walk into, lay down on the bed, plop, watch some Netflix and just be at peace, you know, like a nice little chill place. I haven't had a bedroom that felt like a bedroom in a really long time. I got photographic equipment everywhere, cameras everywhere, tripods, green screens, you know, my desk, my monitors. I've got so much equipment in my room. It just doesn't feel like a bedroom. So. Um, with my next place, I'm hoping I can I can get that. I'm hoping I, I can get that back. Um, it would be nice. But that is neither here nor there. I'm hoping you guys have had a beautiful summer. You know, even though summer's not officially over yet, Labor Day weekend in America, at least, for a lot of people, it marks the end of the summer. This is like everybody's last big hoorah. Everybody goes crazy, has a lot of fun, goes out and parties and all that kind of stuff all weekend. Because it's kind of the symbol of like when things get cold and when we like move into the fall season. So we're about to be there right now. And, you know, it 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 it, it, it feels some kind of way. You feel some kind of way like, you know, Labor Day weekend is here and it's about to be over. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm starting to feel those motions, but I'm hoping to have a good weekend. And I'm wishing that you guys all have a good and safe weekend as well. You all know the deal if you enjoyed today's episode. As always, and if you enjoy that your boy got a solid ass diamond, make sure you leave a like on this video to show your boy some love. If you want to show extra love, you can do so with the join button and the thanks button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Plenty more MK Mobile content to come. Y'all know the deal. Stay tuned. Show the channel some love. Show the video some love. Check out some of my series, my other series. If you guys are looking for stuff to watch this weekend, and I will see you guys next time with Main Mania.